Good afternoon, welcome back. So, I don't know whether to be fired up or happy right now. So, I went upstairs to get my UPS package that uh, I got a notification on my phone and it said it was delivered and I go upstairs and it's on the front porch. No more than five minutes later, I get another delivery notification from FedEx. It says your package was delivered on your back porch. So I go out on the front porch and look, I go out on the side porch and look, go on the back porch and look, there's no package. So I inform the seller, hey, no package arrived. Then I call FedEx and I go through all their computer animated bull crap to file a package not here. Then I started thinking, well, maybe they delivered it at a neighbor's house. And so I get in my car and I start driving down my driveway, which is like 500 plus feet. I get to the end of the driveway and this is sitting in the snowbank at the very end of the driveway by the mailbox like it's trash along with another package. Lucky for me, I caught it in time, but I almost lost it before I got it. So let's go ahead and see what I got and what I could have lost because FedEx hires POS drivers that are just lazy peckernecks. And I'm not done with them. I'm definitely calling back. They said they were going to call me so I could file my complaint. I haven't heard nothing, but I told them, you'll be hearing from me again. Trust me, if you don't call back, because this was uncalled for. So, let's keep digging here. all this stuff back in there real quick you better hang on because I'm on a mission I told you to hang on all right I'll get the rest of that later but I do need to get you come on oh I'll quit running you're gonna oh, this is his game and I'm not going to play it right now. He can just stay down there. All right. I should be able to pull this off. Now. All right, so custom historic art case. Been needing this for the Zach Wild. I said I wasn't gonna spend 450, 500 bucks. I ended up spending 399 plus shipping and tax, ended up to be 450 bucks. So this was still cheaper than all the other ones that were out there. I think the cheapest one I could get was $415 with $70 shipping. So I still ended up getting into this one cheaper. Um, so I really needed this for the Zach Wild. And now we have a proper case that actually came with the Zach Wild Custom. And there it is. The inside of it is beautiful, just like the seller said and got a custom uh, Gibson tag in there I don't think there's anything else in it no nope, just some of the uh, what do you call them little beads that suck the moisture out of the air and here is the case key so that is just an awesome find because I really didn't want to spend over $500 on an old case well, might as well see what Zach Wild looks in there because it came in a case that was not correct for it. Oh, there it is. Got the factory correct case for it. So that is a good deal. Now, if you guys also have watched my unboxing video, this one, this is my second one. Uh, the first one was number 218. This one's like 1,542. And it came to me in 
non-factory original case. Would you stop? And it came with the incorrect pickups in it. So they changed the pickups out to DiMarzio. Oh no, those weren't DiMarzio, were they? I can't remember now. They're a whole lot of humbucker. Seymour Duncan, whole lot of humbucker. I had some DiMarzios. That's why it threw me off. They look similar to that. Would you stop? Literally, in between videos, they were quiet. Quiet as can be. Big head, you're really gonna piss me off. Come on, stop. Oh, really? All right. Now that I got them back, we have the factory original pickups now. So I was gonna order the three-way switch for it, but one of the sellers told me that the factory original switch was the way to go with them. So we have all the factory EMG wiring and pickups to go with it. And I may or may not use the three-way switch, depends on how jacked up it is when I get it out and, and look at it. It feels good and tight, but we'll see. If not, I will order the correct EMG switch that has the plug and play. He said the wires on that should go right into the bus. Um, I'll take a look at that here eventually. So there it is. Uh, we got the case, we got the pickups. Uh, oh, it's something else I'm waiting on. Oh, I got cavity covers for it because the cavity covers on it were really scratched up. So uh, I got those coming from Stratosphere. See, now you guys are nice and quiet. This is just absolutely bogus that you would ruin the video and then be quiet. No, I'm not taking your apology. Mm -mm. So anyhow, we're going to start working on this next. But before I tear it apart, like I promised, I'm going to restring this up and we're going to get some playtime on it with the whole lot of humbuckers with the Gibson pots in it and see what this sounds like uh, with their modifications. And then after I get the correct pickups and stuff back in it, we'll do another sound test to see if there's a whole lot of difference. And I got a plan for these humbuckers. I want to change the covers on them and I got another guitar that I want to put all this stuff in. So stay tuned for that and sorry for their disruption. I don't know what their issue is right now, but anyhow, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.